Okay guys, now I want to show you this bag. This is the Tech Pouch by Pig Design. I've got this bag together with the Kickstarter campaign uh, that I pledged for the 45 liter backpack and I've also did a review for it. If you haven't watched it, click here and watch it. This is a small tech pouch where I can carry cables, small accessories, wires, batteries, whatever not when I travel. So they keep them organized, neat and tight. Now the cost of this bag is about slightly over 200 ringgit. Um, it is on the pricier side. At that price range, we have a lot of different uh, alternatives that you can look for. But is this a good bag? So firstly, the, the make and build of the bag is as sturdy as the 45 liter travel backpack. The material is the same, the zippers are strong. This is the side compartment. Um, so you can put in your passport, your phone or whatever. There's a pass-through cable from the inside. So if you have a power bank inside, you can just pass through the cable to charge your phone over here. Now, um, the bag is sturdy. It's, uh, it stands by itself. No, it stands by itself. Oh yeah, it does. So I like how they designed it with handles where they actually think about how we will be holding the bag, especially how we access it. So we could have our hands holding the bag this way, uh, hold on to the zippers, pull it up and open up. And this is how the inside look like. Plenty of organizational pockets uh, for one, the inlays are not black in color. A lot of accessories are black in color and you probably have difficult time uh, trying to fish out something if it's all black in color. And the material used inside is somewhat like the diver's suit kind of material. So it is gentle to glass and whatever. Hopefully it will protect these gears a little bit more. Um, many organizational pockets um, and they have even a zipper inside to organize smaller pockets. I like the fact that it actually fans out this way um, and it exposed the whole entire bag where I can see all the accessories are lined up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill things up and I'll show you what is inside. So what we have over here are the cables, wires, accessories that I bring along together with me on my travel. Um, my travel meaning that I'm usually working, I'm shooting a wedding and I, uh, I'll have my laptop, my cameras together with me. They need to be charged up, they need to be powered up, they need to be used to uh, do file transfer. So uh, it's 2019, there's a lot of different kind of cables out there to get things done. 80% of the time I use all these cables, the rest of the 20% maybe is good to have or just in case I, I need this cable, I'll bring it along. All right, let's pack it into this particular bag. So let's start with the cables. Uh, we've got the <laughs> two meter Miniso lightning cable. Um, I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I remember seeing these cables MFI certified, uh, but recently I don't see the label anymore. But these cables never failed me before. And this is a two meter one, it's great for bedside uh, charging. I've got the lightning to uh, USB-A cables. Uh, I've got two of them. They can be used to charge up my power banks, the, the newer ones that has uh, Type-C connectors, or my Osmo Pocket. It, it fits pretty well. Uh, it uses a Type-C connector to charge. So these are the cables for it. Uh, these cables are new. This is Type-C to USB-3. I use this one for hard disk over here, and I've got two of these and I packed two just in case. Sometimes I've got two uh, hard disks to transfer or backup, all right? And these are the old, older type where you have type A to uh, USB 3.1. I use this to charge up my camera. And I, I used to use this to also transfer files from my hard disk. I used to have an old MacBook Pro with type A connectors, you see. I've got the night core charger for my Canon batteries. I've got a card reader over here. And I've got a dongle uh, for my laptop, MacBook Pro. 2019, the dongle life. Oh, this one. This is a, pass, uh, a power delivery cable for me. Uh, I use it together with this power brick, the Crave Power Hub Pro. What it has is the power delivery at 65 watt. And I'll talk about this later. Um, together with three other USB Type A, we've got a quick charge and two more 2.4 M uh, ports that I can use to charge whatever. So this goes here. Uh, obviously, uh, the power 
adapter comes with a cable like that. This is one that I seldom use but I do bring along. Uh, it's for my Sony MDR headset. Um, my headset is Bluetooth of course but if I were to play PUBG, I'll bring this along together with me. You know why if you're playing PUBG. Of course, I've got the airline adapter just in case I'm flying, not Air Asia, I can use this. Um, I've got some microfiber cloth that I carry around. I'll put it in a small little compartment over here. And if you can see over here, you can slot in SD cards, but I don't keep my SD cards over here. I bring this just in case that I need to screw the holster. Um, I've got the holster review right here, click it. So I put it there, zip it. And in the center, I'll have the hard disk. So this is how it looks like when it's fully packed. Now that's a lot of things inside again. It's almost packed to the brim. Uh, I can still close it pretty okay. It does take a little bit of beating in terms of like squeezing. You can see the shape is a little bit tight. Yeah, but it still fits pretty nicely. So it is quite heavy right now, but it works. I think this is a very nice bag. Um, it is on the pricier side, but it is a nice bag. And I like the build of it. I like the top process that went in creating this bag. Um, it feels like every single part of it has a function, has a reason to it. So when I travel, when I work, when I need to charge my cameras, power up my uh, MacBook Pro, when I need to transfer files, I'm taken care of. So. I hope you guys like this review of the Tech Pouch by Peak Design. Hit me up guys, uh, like the video or if you're new to this channel, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.